Car Lessons Fast, Fun and Easy dot com. Today's uh, lesson is going to be on Derek and the Dominoes uh, Layla Lick. You know, Eric Clapton's Layla Lick. The one that Dwayne Allman played and that Eric does now. Uh, and so, real quickly, it goes like this. over of course but let's get into what it's all about and how to do it note for note step by step so uh, let's do a close-up okay so this song is in the key of D minor and we're working the D uh, blues scale which is the pentatonic minor uh, I prefer to do this in E but here it is uh, in D, the D blues scale, like Clapton. So, we're going to start here on the second string, 10th fret, with a downstroke. Uh, we then move up here on the second string, 13th fret. I like using my third finger. You could use your fourth if you like up to you. My third with an upstroke. We then move across to the first string, tenth fret with a downstroke. So we're going like this, we're going to put it together. At this point, I like to put that hammer on and pull off right here, which is uh, on the first string, 13th fret. After I pick this note here in the first string, 10th fret, hammering on, and then pulling off right there in the first string, 13th fret. Pulling off back to that note, which is uh, the D note on the first string, 10th fret. Then we're going back to the second string, 13th fret. And back to the first string, 10th fret. Now, at this point, Clapton takes the note on the first string, 13th fret, and bends it a whole step. He's bending it to match this note two frets up from that one. And release it. So bend and release. And again, we're bending up a whole step releasing it back to the original note, like so. Then we go down one fret to the first string, 12th fret, and across to the second string, 13th fret. And then across to the first string, 10th fret. Put a little vibrato if you like. Making the note waver. Uh, <clears throat> next, we're doing the, that first part, if we take this break this into parts. And say that's part one. Part two would be the bend and release. And that. So we go back to part one and go like we did earlier. But now we move up to the 15th fret. First string, 15th fret, this G note. 
and bend it a whole step and release it like we're playing this A note. See, there's the A. We bend the G up to the A. Bend and release. And then we go back to the first string 12th fret and the second string 13th fret. Oh, hey, almost forgot the ending uh, to that Layla lick. Uh, anyway, we're, we're, you know, we're going. Right there is where we're ending. So after he does that first string 12th fret and goes to that second string 13th fret, Right there is the note. I like to sometimes end both of them. Because they're harmonizing together. So, uh, right there's our ending. And then he goes into the song. Okay, that's that. Now, what you could do instead, if you don't like the bends or it gives you a hard time, is we're going to slide up to the actual notes instead of bending. So we do this part one, and now we slide up. So we're sliding up to the G instead of bending from the F to the G. Ah. We'll do the same up here. So we're sliding up to that note, the A, instead of bending from the G. It's kind of up to you. You want to slide or you want to bend it. Either way, we need those notes. So however you get them is kind of up to you. Whether you bend them, or slide up to them. Uh, that's the lick. Okay, so one more time it goes. fun. We'll, we'll, uh, another lesson, we'll do the uh, riff. Uh, possibly put a backing track somewhere on the website for it. So, but that's another lesson. Thanks. Bye.